everyone, my name is Spitfire and welcome back to my channel. It's been a while, like I said, I've been working. So it's actually glad to be actually back with you and I thought I would hit this back with a huge bang of uh, the new Odd Ones Out video called Hobbies. Now hobbies are something that I've been accustomed to for a while. I had a lot of them. Not much of them were me growing up with them, but most of me uh, actually getting into them a lot later in life. One of the biggest ones that actually hit me for about five, six years was um, card games. Uh, and I actually still kind of play them once in a while when I get time because of work. But that was a huge part of uh, my getting to actually going out there and uh, talking to people. Um, yeah. That was one of the things I actually got me to do that. And other things. Is that the only thing? Uh, I don't know if games like video games count as hobbies. They kind of do, kind of don't. I would try to throw them into a different uh, pile of their own. But I will see what he talks about, what hobbies he had, and what hobbies he grew up with, and you know, all that kind of stuff. So, uh, let's get into it. Parents want their children to be well let's rounded. Let's get into it. But the problem that every parent faces True. is that seven year olds would rather watch any video on YouTube than learn how to play the violin. So, how do these concerned parents yes, get their children that. to be more active? Answer, they force them. Now, forcing your kids into activities isn't a bad thing. In fact, True overall, that. it's extremely helpful. Forcing kids into doing something they don't want to do is the only way we can get them to go to school. Okay, saying that out loud kind of wow. kind of sounded wrong. Doing extra activities, especially yes. at a young age, not only teaches you important skills, but it also teaches you what your interests are. How are you gonna know if you don't like ballet unless True you try that. it? I've tried it, and now I can say with confidence, ballet is not for me. I'm sure I'm not the only one who's had to deal with parents signing you up for sports, instruments, and more sports. I think when you're really young, you don't realize that you have a choice. Your parents just start taking you to soccer practice every not Wednesday, really. and you think, oh, okay, I guess I'm doing this now. But all the activities I was yeah, forced into, normal. while I never got invested in any of them, I'm still glad I did them, you know? I forgot how old I was when my mom signed me up for soccer, but I was little enough for the goals to look like this. I can't tell you how many games you won or how many goals I scored. Yeah. It was probably close to zero. Because I ultimately didn't care about soccer. soccer. The only thing I cared about was getting a treat above. after every game. Because I earned it. I know some kids who really enjoyed playing soccer. I forget which video I mentioned this, but back in the day there was this kid I knew named Micah. He used to live in the house directly behind mine, and we were on the same Little League soccer team. He was really good at soccer, probably better than I'll ever be, and he still plays to this day. Well, okay, it's been four years since I last talked to him, but he was still playing soccer to this four years ago. Now, did Micah's parents initially force him into playing soccer? Probably, I didn't ask, but if his who parents knows? never forced him <laughs> yeah, into it, he would have never known how good he was at the game and how much he enjoyed it. But that's enough about Micah. This is my channel. I don't remember <laughs> oh, okay. how I stopped playing soccer. I just stopped showing up to the practices one year, and then I never played again. And then my mom put me into Boy Scouts, it. and that was a lot better because it wasn't competitive and camping is awesome, and I made some dumb videos about it. Wow. So it was a return investment. Another activity yeah. my mom put me in was this martial art class called Aikido. I'm honestly surprised I've gotten 107 videos without mentioning Aikido once. Probably because it was boring and nothing yeah. interesting happened. My mom put me and my twin sister into Aikido and we wow. both agreed that it was boring and we didn't like it. So we decided not to remind my mom whenever she had to take us to class. And surprisingly, she forgot most of the time. Okay, look, whenever the sensei wow. was talking, we had to sit on our knees wow, and that gets uncomfortable after peace. two seconds. What is Aikido, I hear you asking? Aikido is a... Uh, special form of martial arts in that it doesn't teach you how to fight. Right. Aikido is all about self-defense and to also not hurt the attacker. You know those self-defense techniques that are like, wow. if someone tries okay. to attack you, use your keys as a knife and stab them. Aikido is not that. An Aikido master will take an attacker's arm, spin them around, and then pin them down to the floor. Now that sounds really cool on rice paper, like if someone goes to attack you, and yeah. then you block their punch and pin them to the ground, and you just give them a look like, you wanna take me on, kid? I've already got you pinned <laughs> yeah. down. Now I'm not gonna hurt you, because I'm that powerful. But if you ever attempt to attack wow. Me or my clan 
ever again, I will be forced to use 10% wow. of my power and break your spine in half. And I think my mom saw that Akito was non-violent wow. and taught self-defense, and she thought it was a better activity than learning how to kick someone in the face. But after doing some research on Akito, I've yeah. learned that it's not really... What's the right word? Respected in the martial art community? There's a lot of people saying that the techniques of Akito don't work against a real attack, and that if someone's really attacking you, you can't reasonably pin them down without hurting them. So it's probably a better idea to just punch back. And some people who are in Aikido think wow. that their style of fighting is more Ooh, civil yeah. and the more eloquent way of fighting or non-fighting. So there's a tad okay. bit of elitism in the martial art community. Now, surprisingly, I've never been in a real fight, so I can't really comment on what the more effective martial art is. I'm sure different situations call for different responses, but I don't think I'm wrong when I say that Aikido is the vegans of martial arts. After Aikido, the next thing wow. I was forced to learn was an instrument. My parents didn't force me to do this, it was the American education system that did. In 5th and 6th grade, yeah. everyone had to take a band class, and we all band. chose different instruments to play, and I went with a flute. And as I soon was, as I was given the flute, I traded I it clarinet. with Priscilla, who chose percussion, and that's what I did for the next two years. Compared to the rest of the instruments, percussion was very easy on my lungs. And it was okay if we were bad at the instrument, because we were in the <laughs> very that. back. The first set of songs we learned was on this metal xylophone thing, but I think the teacher thought everyone was so bad at that instrument that the rest of the songs we learned was on this drum just one drum it looked like this so while everyone else had to learn face yeah. and every good boy deserves fudge and whatever these lines connecting the notes mean we cool kids All in right. the back only had to memorize yeah. three notes a well, hit on the drum a hit on the side of the drum and not hitting the drum now those are my favorite notes <laughs> drums are so yeah. great nothing beats the drums Drums are easy. So my parents tried to get me to do extra activities, but I never did more than what I was told to do. But that's okay. You should at least try new True things, that. and if it's not something you enjoy, well, at least you tried. Now, with all the activities I did, I still spent plenty of my free time doing some other things. Okay, I played a lot of Neopets and RuneScape, and as much as I enjoyed yeah, these games, yeah, I would say overall, they didn't make me a more rounded person. Unless you count what they did to my horrible posture. Guess he is People will gaming spend their free time doing hobby. what they enjoy. And entertainment is designed to be wow. entertaining. You got while me. it's good to take some time doing yeah. things you enjoy, just like everything in life, it's all about balance. I think there's a very clear and important difference between a hobby and an addiction. If you enjoy playing video games very and true, binging Netflix true, in your free true. time, then do that. Keyword being free time. You still need to set time to sleep, work, and socialize. And take showers. If I can smell that you were just binging <laughs> well, a show, then that's the gotta change. Me, my While friend. I was working on this video, I wondered why it was more acceptable to be good at chess than it was World of Warcraft. Because at its core, chess and Warcraft are the same thing. A game. But if you spend all your time playing True. one of these games, and it gets in the way of you being a functional human being, that's when it becomes an addiction. And I would bet you one crisp dollar bill that yeah. more people have gotten addicted to Warcraft than chess. And that's why I believe there's a bad stigma with that uh, game. Also, I don't know that. how WoW true works, that. but I know in chess you need to have at least one friend. If I could go back in time, I would tell my younger self to not play Neopets and RuneScape as much as I did. I would have told me, hey, you should try out other things too, like rollerblading or the flute. Youth is the best time to learn what you love and where your passions lie. You kids have no bills, no expectations, you're not tired all the time, and everyone's telling you to follow your dreams. But not me, I'm 22. My life is practically over. I can't choose any more hobbies. Uh, same that, my friend. I, I wasted my childhood. <laughs> I'm not saying don't play video games or don't watch YouTube. Same I here. understand that my main demographic <laughs> is people who watch bots. YouTube. But <laughs> like I job. said before, it's all about the balance, trademark. So go out there, try new things, join yeah, a club, go on a balance. walk, draw something. I'm biased, but make a comic, write a short story, find a recipe online and cook something, or read a book. Take breaks, yes, but never stop like learning. Reading. And when you're an adult, you hobby. can force your children to learn too. Happy 2019, everyone. How are you all doing yeah. on your New Year's resolutions? Are you, are you still keeping track of those? Bad, I don't say any. Nope. for me in 2019 already. And the really big thing is that I got a That's new a dog. Nice Her name is Floof, and she's the best. Aww. And I hate to break this to anyone nice who owns dog. a dog, but Floof is actually the best dog in the world. So, sorry, guys. 
Oh, also this channel hit 10 million subscribers, which is just an absolutely nice. insane milestone. Thank you all for watching job, my, my videos, and it's just wild how many people are out there watching my videos. It's they're just videos, guys. Calm down. <laughs> also, big thanks to all my lovely additional artists. I wouldn't be able to make these videos as fast and as high quality as they are without them, so thank you all for working on this video, and cheers to 10 million. I guess the next video I'll be working on will involve sprinkles. Now, when I first started the sprinkle tradition, I thought, wow. oh, it's just a fun little thing to do every once in a while. Got to be a lot of sprinkles. I'm a lot of sprinkles, so... Woe is yeah, me. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of fucking <laughs> I'm going to go take a nap friend. now, and as always, wear your seatbelt. Alright. Uh, that was a good, uh... It was a very good video. Uh, I guess he did really count uh, gaming as a hobby. So I wouldn't really count it as a hobby, but I guess he is. I guess there is a like, fine line between, like, like he said, a hobby and an addiction. Um, like I thought about, um, when I got into card games that, uh, the card games were kind of affecting my life and they're kind of like gambling. Uh, I didn't really buy many booster packs, but the place I went to, like as a person there that would walk in every day, uh, buy a pack like every day or buy like four every day. And like, I think that guy has a problem, but I uh, you know it's his life and his money. I'm not going to tell him what to do. So, and, you know, addiction's an addiction, uh, but, you know, you just can't waste all your uh, money and stuff on it, so, you know how it goes. I uh, hope you guys and uh, enjoyed this uh, video that uh, I wanted to come back with a, kind of a huge bang, and I thought this would be a fun video, because uh, I really like the odd ones out. He's a very good animator and storyteller. Um, and I'll probably react to a lot more animation channels when they upload, uh, new videos now that I'm actually kind of back and doing random shit on this channel. Uh, so, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed everything and, uh, see you guys hopefully in the next one. Whenever the fuck that will be. Peace the fuck out and bye.